inspiration for Lisa and Poe came from a pretty personal place. At the time, I was grieving for one of my best friends who died earlier in the year, and um, I I'd still find a, kind of felt the impact of the loss. So it's, you know, from this kind of dark and difficult place came this magical story of hope, which I think is the emotional journey that I also had to go on at that time. Ultimately, I think Liesl's journey, um, which is a journey towards obviously acceptance and towards finding peace and making peace with her own loss, was in some ways my version of taking myself on the same journey um, and trying to make peace with a, a fairly significant loss in my life. Liesl and Poe is ultimately about the redemptive power of love and also uh, renewal and that you know, great things come out of places that are hard and difficult. Um, and I think that's a huge message of the book and one that I would hope readers would, would also take away. In real life, unlike in fiction, happy endings sometimes take a little longer. Sometimes the roads are a little bit more winding and they lead you sometimes back into dark places before you can go towards, you know, the light. Um, but, I mean, I think that's a great purpose of fiction for me and that's certainly why I write is because you know, I can give myself a clarity of a happy ending and, and go towards it. And that's really all that matters as long as you're moving towards that. <laughs>